Hey guys, it's Jenny Silver, and today I wanna to talk to those of you who are wondering how to claim your $10,200 worth of unemployment benefits to be tax-free for year 2020. Now, the American Rescue Plan, the stimulus bill, which was just signed into law, included in it a provision for those who received unemployment benefits in tax year 2020. Now, $10,200 worth of your unemployment benefits, that includes all forms of unemployment, traditional unemployment, PUA, PEUC, et cetera. Any form of unemployment benefits in the amount of $10,200 can be tax-free. In order to qualify for this, your AGI, your adjusted gross income, which is your total income minus deductions, it can be found on your tax return, your AGI must be below $150,000. Now, if your AGI is below $150,000, then $10,200 worth of your unemployment benefits are untaxed. Now, the IRS has issued the changes to the tax forms. They have stated their guidance on the irs.gov website with regards to the $10,200 unemployment compensation change. Now, I'm gonna show you exactly what they say so that those of you who have not yet filed taxes know exactly what to do. I wanna give you a disclaimer that I am not a CPA, I'm not an accountant, I'm not a tax preparer. So any questions that you have with regards to your own personal income taxes needs to be taken to a tax preparer, CPA, or other certified professional. Now, I know that many of you have already filed your 2020 income taxes, and many of you are wondering what to do if you have already filed. The video I released yesterday, which I'm going to link down below, I show you that Senate Democrats, about 20 of them, have sent over a letter to the IRS requesting that the IRS make it as seamless, easy, and automatic as possible for those who have already filed 2020 income taxes to have this automatically recalculated. Now, this is a request to the IRS. We need to await and see if the IRS is able to comply with this request or if they will require anyone who filed a 2020 income tax return to amend their tax return in order to receive this benefit. So what about those of you that use a software to prepare your income taxes, such as TurboTax? Well, the IRS just released this new change, so they will most likely need several days in order to update their software. You can check the website for your tax preparing software and search for $10,200 unemployment, and you will most likely find where they are stating information if they have a timeline on when this will be updated, etc. But you will need to update your tax software once they have that change implemented in their software. First, the IRS confirms what we already know from the stimulus bill text, that if your modified adjusted gross income, your AGI, is less than $150,000, the American Rescue Plan enacted on March 11th excludes from income up to $10,200 of unemployment compensation paid in 2020. Now, if you are wondering which tax year this is for, I've addressed this in several other videos, but here the IRS additionally confirms that this is for your 2020 unemployment benefits in the amount of $10,200. Now, many of you are wondering, what if more than one person on your tax return has claimed unemployment benefits, such as a married filing jointly return and both spouses are unemployed? Is the cap at $10,200 or is it $10,200 per spouse? Here the IRS confirms that if you are married, each spouse receiving unemployment compensation doesn't have to pay tax on unemployment compensation of up to $10,200. Amounts over $10,200 for each individual are still taxable. So it is per individual. So if you are married filing jointly, each spouse received unemployment benefits up to $10,200 per spouse would be untaxable. The IRS gives detailed instructions on exactly how you will compute this and note this in the tax form. Now I'm gonna show you on screen the current updated 2020 Schedule 1. The Schedule 1 is where you are going to see the area to enter in unemployment income and where you will make this adjustment.
Now you should receive a form 1099-G showing in box one the total unemployment compensation paid to you in 2020. You are going to report this amount from box one on line seven. Next, you're gonna determine if your AGI, adjusted gross income, is below $150,000. Is the amount on line five $150,000 or more? If yes, stop. You can't exclude any of your unemployment compensation because you're above that $150,000 threshold. If it's below $150,000, then you're gonna proceed on to the next step. Next, you're going to enter in $10,200, or if you received less than $10,200 worth of unemployment compensation, you will enter the amount of unemployment compensation that was paid to you in 2020. For example, if you received $15,000 worth of unemployment compensation, you will enter in $10,200. If you received $5,000 worth of unemployment compensation in 2020, you will enter in $5,000. Now, if married filing jointly, you will enter the amount of unemployment compensation paid to your spouse in 2020. Now, if you are still confused on if spouses can each qualify for the full $10,200, don't forget earlier in this publication, they stated that you were adding in $10,200 for each spouse. Add lines seven through eight and enter the amount here. This is the amount of unemployment compensation excluded from your income. Next, you're going to subtract line nine from line two and enter the amount on schedule one, line eight. If the result is less than zero, enter it in parentheses. On the dotted line next to schedule one, line eight, you're going to enter in UCE. UCE is going to be the code that you enter in because it stands for Unemployment Compensation Exclusion. Make sure you add this code in UCE so that the IRS knows why you are deducting this amount. And show the amount of unemployment compensation exclusion in parentheses on the dotted line. Okay, you guys, I hope that was helpful. Please click like, subscribe, and leave me a comment down below. As soon as I try to start recording, there's a lawnmower.